Hi everybody, I am TK Kundu from the Dex of Friendly Tutorial Home. <clears throat> Today I have come before you with a new small lesson that is kinds of sentences according to structure. Earlier lesson I have already discussed kinds of sentences according to meaning. That is, there were five or six types of sentences according to meaning, which I have already discussed. Assertive, imperative, optative, interrogative, exclamatory, emphatic, all I have discussed. Today, I will discuss kinds of sentence according to structure which is very important in case of changing in case of transformation of sentence then we have to join the sentence keeping its meaning same in different types of two different types of sentences we have to convert so we should have the basic idea of the structure of the sentences according to the structure there are three types of sentences number one simple number two compound number three complex in simple sentence there will be only one subject and one finite verb in complex sentence there will be in compound sentences two independent clause or two simple sentences will be joined by the coordinating conjunction but or and in complex sentence there will be one principal clause you may tell that one simple sentence and with this there will be a clause minimum one clause and that will be added by the linker which whom who that whose etc so let me tell you in detail by writing the division of the sentences according to structure kind of sentences according to structure there are three kinds of sentences according to structure number one simple sentence number two compound sentence number three complex sentence so let me show you what i have written there are three types of sentences according to structure number one simple sentence number two compound sentence number three complex sentence so let me discuss in detail what is simple sentence what is simple sentence simple sentence the sentence consisting of one subject and one finite verb is called simple sentences example one the sun rises in the east here the sun is subject rises is finite verb and there is other part number two example rinku goes to school daily here rinku is the subject and goes is the finite verb so let me show you this is the simple sentences example this is the sentences consisting of 
one subject and one finite verb. It's called simple sentence. One example, the sun rises in the east. The sun is subject, rises is finite verb. This is simple sentence. Rinku goes to school daily or every day, whatever you may tell. Rinku is subject and goes finite. But another thing you have to keep in mind at the time of simple sentence, you have to keep in mind that there may be non-finitive verb one or more besides finite verb in a simple sentence. Example, my father went to market to buy potato. Here, my father is subject, went is finite verb, buy, b u y buy is non finitive verb. So, in a sentence, there may be more than one non finitive verb. It is possible, but finite verb will be only one. Another example I can give you, Rishi took loan from bank to build his house. Here Rishi is subject, took is finite verb and built non finite verb. This is also simple sentence. Let me show you. This is. You have to keep in mind that in a simple sentence, there may be one or more non finite non finite verb, non finite verb besides the finite verb. Example one: My father went to market to buy potato. Here you find two verb. One is went, another is buy. But before buy, there is infinity to. So after to, you can use verb in a simple sentence and that will be non finitive verb. But main verb went. So this is simple sentence. Another example I have uh, given you here. Another example is what I have given you. Rishi took loan from bank to build his house. Here took is find verb. Another verb is after two, it is to build. This is non finite verb. So it is also simple sentence. Another thing you should know when there is imperative mood in the simple sentence, there will be no subject. It is very surprising. In imperative cases, that is, in case of uh, order, advice, or request, there will not be any subject. Then, automatically, you will be the subject, and that will not be mentioned. That may not be mentioned in the sentence. Suppose example one: Do the homework. Here, the sentence started started with the verb do, but to whom I am telling the person who is in front of me, that is. You so automatically uh, here um, you is subject. Another example we can take that give me a glass of water. It is also in imperative mood. So there is no subject here also automatically you is the subject. So in this case it, it will also be a simple sentence so let me show you here in in case of imperative mode there will be there will not be any subject but automatically you will be implied do the homework here there was no subject but i have written in bracket you next sentence give me a glass of water it is also in imperative mode so you is automatically implied here as subject so this is the simple sentence now let me tell you 
then we come to the next sentence that is compound sentence compound c o m p o u n d a c n t e n c compound sentence when minimum two simple sentences or independent clauses or coordinated co coordinate clauses are joined by the coordinating conjunction like but or and it is called compound sentence example 1 i went to your home but you were not there another example you can write number 2 give me blood and i shall give you freedom number 3 you can write give me peace or give me death so let me show compound sentence when minimum two simple sentences or independent clauses or coordinate clauses whatever you may tell are joined by the coordinating conjunction like but or and it is called compound sentences example one i have written here i went to your home but you were not there another example i have written give me blood and i shall give you freedom another example i have written give me peace or give me death so i have used three conjunction here first i have used but then i have used uh, first i have used but then i have used and then i have used or so two independent clause i went to your home on independent clause and you were not there independent clause it is joined by the coordinating conjunction but here give me blood is independent clause or you can say it is a, a simple sentence coordinating con conjunction is and i shall give you freedom another co independent clause so it is compound sentence give me peace or coordinating conjunction give me death so this is the example of compound sentence let me tell you the next with this complex sentence what is complex sentence c o m p l e x s e n t e n c when there is one principal clause and depending on it there is minimum one subordinate clause joined by any linker like that which who whom whose etc etc is called called complex sentence let me tell you, show you the example first example i am writing everyone knows that the sun sets in the west here everyone knows is a principal clause that the sun sets in the west is the subordinate clause so it is complex sentence number 2 i don't know how she does this work i don't know is principal clause how she does this work is subordinate clause it is complex sentence number 3 example i know suman who is very intelligent i know suman is principal clause who is very intelligent subordinate clause so it is complex sentence number 4 i have written if you come i shall go with you if you come the condition this the if you come is clause and uh, subordinate clause and here principal clause comes the after that i shall go with you if you come is subordinate clause i shall go with you is principal clause. it is also complex sentence in detail we will discuss later i am just giving the introduction 
of complex sentence so let me show you what i have written here this is when there are there is one principal clause and depending on it means depending on this principal clause there is minimum one subordinate clause maybe more minimum one subordinate clause joined by any linker like that which who whom whose etc is called complex sentence it is called it is called complex sentence example i have written first everyone knows that sun, that the sun sets in the west i have underlined here that the sun sets so it is a subordinate clause and principle everyone knows and i don't know how she does the work i don't know is a principal clause how she does the work is a subordinate clause so i don't know how she does the work is complex sentence next i know someone who is very intelligent who is very intelligent subordinate clause i know someone please so it is complex sentence here if you come i shall go go with you i shall go with you is principal clause if you is subordinate so this is complex sentences example so student friends i think now the basic idea of the division of sentences according to structure there are three kinds of sentences according to structure simple there is one subject and one find verb maybe non finitive verb one or two with this uh, finite verb and in com compound two or more than that independent clause or simply independent independent clauses or simple sentences or you may tell coordinating clauses coordinate <coughs> coordinate clauses will be added by the linker but and or and in complex sentence there will be one main clause that is principal clause that will be used independently and there will be at least one clause one subordinate clause we added who, by the linker who which whom that etc that will be called complex sentence so student friends next time we will do transformation of sentences that means we will join we will we will uh, make simple sentence then one simple sentence to complex sentence from complex sentence to comp compound sentence keeping the exact meaning of the sentence as same we will convert from simple to complex complex to compound simple to compound compound to simple etc here only let me give you one example that is i will write here two sentences two sentences and from two sentences i will join first in i will make that in one simple sentence i will make that one complex sentence i will one uh, i will make one compound sentence so let me write you ram returned from school one sentence another he took some food ram returned from school one sentence he took some food another sentence now i will join it into a simple sentence returning from school comma ram took some food returning from school ram took some food it is simple sentence next i will convert it to complex i will convert it to compound ram returned from school and he took some food ram returned from school and he took some food it will be compound sentence and then let me convert it to complex sentence when ram returned from school comma 
he took some food or you can write ram comma who returned from school comma took some food this is complex sentence let me show you this is ram returned from school he took some food first simple sentence i omitted the verb return by putting ing after that returning from school returning from school is in participle returning from school ram took some food this is simple sentence sense is same you have to keep the meaning of the total matter same i have given you two sentences here i have converted it into a simple joined i have joined these two sentences into simple sentences returning from school ram took some food then compound ram returned from school and took some tiffin then complex when ram returned from school he took some tiffin or ram who returned from school took some took some food so this is the basic thing thing i have told you here next class i will again discussed in elaborate way about this um, sentences so student friends i hope now to some extent i am able to make you learn this kind of sentences according to structure so this is the end of today's program see you in the next class if you like this video you don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the notification for my next class tata